Over 70 years later, a Rhode Island soldier who went missing in action during the Korean War was laid to rest today. 12 News reporter Kate Walsh spoke to the niece of Lieutenant Anthony Mazula. She joins us with what she had to say. It's new at 6. First Lieutenant Anthony Mazula made all of his sacraments at this church, St. Rocco's in Johnston, and he even was an altar server here so many years ago. So it was only right for his final sacrament to be made here as well, his funeral 71 years after his death. Closure, honor, gratitude, all for a man no one here ever personally met. In fact, this church's building wasn't the original one where Lieutenant Anthony Mazula worshipped. Yet, it was important to be there Saturday morning. We're honored to be here to welcome this soldier home. These Rhode Island natives stood outside the church with American flags. Lieutenant Mazula went missing in 1950 in the Korean War and was declared dead a few years later, but his body was never identified until recently. His remains returned home, finally, this past week to Rhode Island, nearly 71 years after his death. I think it's important because to understand that he sacrificed his life for the freedom that we have today. Inside the church, his nieces and nephews, their families, family friends, even strangers, prayed for his soul at his funeral mass. I'm amazed at the support. There were people in church that we hadn't seen for years and years. Lois Marandola is Missoula's niece. I'm just happy that he's home and I could lay him to rest with his parents. Missoula was buried next to his family at St. Anne's Cemetery in Cranston following full military honors, <laughs> including a presentation from the Korean Embassy of medals in his honor. Never give up hope. An example of the promise our country has to all service members, past and present, that they will never be forgotten and always honored for their sacrifice. In Johnston, I'm Kate Walsh, 12 News.